Hello, evening. So um, let's take let's walk over this again because I realize the other video the lab was not displaying. All right. So what was the question we we're trying to solve? Um, how to use icons, right, with this trap. So you have to note that you call in the CDN of icons, and it's quite simple. How do you get the CDN of icons? You can copy it, I've copied it to this page to let to show you, right, but then there's, you go to the browser, to copy directly from the browser, just go to the browser, right, and type bootstrap CDN. Bootstrap CDN. All right, so you get it. Once it comes up here, you see uh, to auto suggest, you have libraries, you have Bootstrap. Sorry. Let's be more specific Bootstrap icon CDN. Bootstrap icon. Icon CDN. So with this, you can have this official system, bootstrap icons here. You enter it and copy the CDN. The last, after the last image um, row, you're going to get the CDN, right? So you just enter direct and get the CDN in this place. Right, so you just get this. Yeah, so after the, the image, you have the CDN. You will copy the link to your space, to your lab, your Visual Studio Code editor. I have it here already. So you have the icon CDN. So you just paste it here, right? On your own, just make sure you make a statement and write it, declare. I have the link to your CSS if you want to style as um, separately, um, right? Because some of these things, this is a framework. So you may want it in a particular way. So you may want to style. So you have it done this way. And then you want to call an image like we did here. Uh, in the first video, you want to have an image. So let's start this over again, right? Let's start this over again. You have a div, right? You have a div. Um, okay, so first, let me explain this. You have a div, you have, um, a paragraph that talks about what you're going to the icons here. So rate your experience, rate your experience um, with the form. So the next thing to do is to go and um, copy the icon that makes for this. So what you do is go, it's going to still give us the same icon. Do I just want to walk you through it? You look for, go to the search bar and look for the star, the star icon. You look for the star icon or whatever icon you are looking for. You, as soon as you know the name, right, you you are sure to have it. So go back. You have the search. Start typing. You have the star. Right. You have a lot of stars appearing here. So you have the star. You have the star field. The star field is most often what we use, right. And the last you can have the star half, right. So if you click on this, you get the CDN, you get the, the the link, you just copy the link and go back to your editor, where you want to place it, you place it now, we have it here, right, this way you place it, like we have times, the number of times you want it to appear, right, then here, if you don't want the field, you have half, you change this last um, word to half, and if you view it on your live server, right, you'll be able to have it down here, rate your experience with the form. Let's correct this. Rate your experience with the form. With the form. So you have it. Right? So now you have your registration form or the login form for athletes, right? Okay, so that's just it. 